We've now had over 30 different seasons of Fortnite, starting all the way back during Chapter 1, Season 1, up until today in Chapter 5, Season 4, and soon to be Chapter 6. But today, guys, we're looking at the sweatiest combo from every season. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below before this video starts what season has been your favorite, and of course, what the best combo is. Make sure to go down and hit the like button and the subscribe button, and check out my new channel, More Cairo, in the comments down below. But we need to start off with the very first season of Fortnite, and this was Chapter 1, Season 1. One. The best combo that we have to go with is the Renegade Raider, and we are pairing this with the Ice Breaker. Now, this might not be the sweatiest pickaxe because you could always pair this with something like the Raider's Revenge, but in my opinion, I just feel like the Ice Breaker has been a lot more tryhard and used by a lot more people, so we may as well just include this. The Renegade Raider, though, has to be the best skin from that season. I mean, it is hard to find another skin from Chapter 1 Season 1 that was better than this. I just feel like we've seen so many people using this, and they've remade this skin so many many different times as well, which just shows you guys how good the original skin actually was. We then move quickly into Chapter 1 Season 2, and I feel like this season was a little underwhelming, but it did introduce the Battle Pass for the very first time, and introduced the Black Knight, and of course the ACDC pickaxe as well. Now this does have to be the sweatiest combo that we saw during that season, I just feel like this has been so good over the last few years. The Black Knight is one of the rarest we have ever seen in terms of skins, and again they have remade this. A bunch of times with a lot of female knight skins being added and that was all because of the success of the original black knight the acdc pickaxe is one of the coolest looking pickaxes that we have as well it probably doesn't work in with any other skin apart from just the black knight because these items were added to the game in the same season that then takes us to chapter one season three guys which is one of the best seasons of all time and we have to go with the reaper and of course the trusty number two for this now you could always swap this out and pair this with something like the elite agent instead but in my opinion, I just feel like the Reaper has been the better skin. This was a lot more iconic. It was sort of like the first ever collab skin before collab skins even existed. I mean, so many people were so excited to use this. It was just so insane how good this actually was. And I feel like in some ways, this even started the try hard skin category. We never really had skins that were associated with the best players in the lobby. And I feel like during chapter one, season three, whenever you saw people using the Reaper and of course the trusty number two, chances are they were going to be the best player in the game. We then move quickly into Chapter 1 Season 4 though, where we had edit styles and of course unlockable styles for skins finally introduced and we ended up getting Omega and of course the Renegade Roller during this season. In my opinion, I feel like Omega is by far the sweatiest skin, but you could always swap around this pickaxe to anything that you prefer from that season. It is completely up to you guys, I just feel like Omega was the tier 100 skin, it was the hardest skin to unlock and there were so many additional styles, so even if you grinded up to tier 100, you could have of course grind even more to unlock additional color styles and armor which made this skin so much better i just feel like the renegade roller is one of the most unique pickaxes that we have so we just had to pair these items together but again i feel like there are definitely going to be better options for this just depending on what pickaxes you guys actually own as you guys can tell already a lot of the male skins were really popular during chapter one and that continues in chapter one season five as well because we had wildcard and of course the studded axe added to the game this season i don't know why i always thought the studded Studded Axe was added later towards the end of Chapter 1, but it was actually introduced during Chapter 1, Season 5. I love this a lot. This is still one of the best pickaxes that you can actually use today. It is one of the most popular pickaxes in the game, and that is because people believe this actually grants a competitive advantage, helping you actually stay as quiet as possible. Now, we don't know if this is actually true or not. I'm sure Fortnite would have fixed this if this was actually the case, but regardless, the wildcard skin has to be the best skin from this season. You can actually pick this up 2000 V bucks, so it is very, very expensive, but I just feel like it is so, so good. And even though we don't really see too many people using it today, Fortnite obviously recognized how good this skin actually was because they added in a female variant of this a few seasons later, but also added in additional styles for this skin after it had already been in the game for a few years, which just shows you guys how popular this actually was. We then quickly moved into Chapter 1, Season 6, though, and we had the first ever Dark series introduced to the game, which brought us the Dark Bomber and of course the guiding glow pickaxe now the dark bomber was by far the best skin that we saw during this season but again i feel like we didn't really have too many good pickaxes added so the guiding glow could always be swapped out for something else
else. A lot of the popularity for the Dark Bomber though has to go to Sway. I mean, he was one of the only pros and streamers in the world that has been using this from the beginning. Even though he isn't using this skin anymore today, it is definitely one of the main reasons why it was so popular because he was using this in every single video, in every single live stream as well, and making sure as many people saw him using this skin. I feel like Fortnite could definitely make this skin a lot better today as well by introducing some other styles for it, but just the fact that we haven't really seen any additional styles added for any of these OG skins or just any of the dark series skins that we have in the game means that this is definitely quite underrated today. Another skin that actually did get an edit style a few seasons ago though is for Chapter 1 Season 7's best combo, and we are going with Sparkplug and pairing this with the Cold Snap. Now, Sparkplug again is really only popular in tryhard in Fortnite because of clicks. I feel like clicks is definitely responsible for making this so popular in the game today. A lot of people love this because it was clicks's original main skin, and even if he doesn't really use it that much anymore, I still feel like it is what he is known for, and that is why so many people still use this. We also did get an extra style of Sparkplug added during Chapter 3, which did change it around a lot. In my opinion, the black edit style or the black ink edit style is the best one. I feel like this just looks so, so good, and Fortnite could always add more edit styles for this in the future. Obviously, we had to pair this with the Cold Snap as well, because this was introduced during this season, and this entire bundle was part of Clix's Locker Bundle, which just makes this combo even better. We then move into Chapter 1 Season 8, guys, and we had the very first Marvel Clap during this season, so we have to go with Black Widow, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. Now, usually, I would have been pairing this with something like the Widow's Bite, but honestly, I feel like the Star Wand has just been so much better and so tried hard for such a long time. We do of course have two different Black Widow skins now in the game. We have the original Black Widow and then of course Snowsuit Black Widow as well, but in my opinion, I just feel like the original Black Widow is the best one. This might not have the best design, but it is by far the most tryhard and it is a lot rarer as well, but it does feature in the store all the time now along with all of the other Marvel skins, so I feel like it is perfect for you guys to buy. The Star One though is going to be incredible. I love this so, so much. I feel like it definitely deserves an extra extra edit style in the future, but we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with this. We then move into Chapter 1 Season 9, guys, and we're going with Focus and pairing this with the Simple Sledge. Now, Focus was one of the more unique skins that we have seen across the last few years of Fortnite, and why this is unique is because this is largely known as a controller-only skin. Now, even though this has been used by pretty much every single player that is tryhard in Fortnite, for a really long time, we only ever saw controller players or console players using this. I feel like that is so unique. Unique. We haven't really seen this with any other skin in the history of the game, and the Simple Sledge just fits in with the color style of this skin so perfectly. We do, of course, have two different edit styles for this skin now in Fortnite. Both edit styles look so, so similar, though, which I feel like is the downside for this, but this is still definitely a combo worth buying today, and I feel like this just has been so good pretty much since this skin was introduced. But that takes us to the last season of Chapter 1, which is Chapter 1 Season X, and for the best combo, we're going with Catwoman, and we're pairing this with the Dark Axe. Now, this definitely wasn't a skin that I would have talked about during Chapter 4 or even Chapter 3, but Catwoman has made a huge resurgence in Chapter 5 to become one of the best skins in the game at the moment. I cannot believe how popular this is. It is also really unfortunate that this just doesn't feature in the store that often. I mean, if it did, we would see so many more people using it today. It would probably be the best skin that we have in the game as well, but unfortunately, it just hasn't been added. The Dark Axe, though, is going to fit in with the color theme of this. It probably isn't the best pickaxe for this. I feel like there are definitely some other pickaxes that fit in with the theme of Catwoman a lot better. But again, we are limited to only pickaxes that were added during the last season of Chapter 1. So we are going with the Dark Axe. That then took us to the first season of Chapter 2, guys, which is Chapter 2, Season 1. And the best and most tryhard combo is Zadie, and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. There is no doubt this is the best combo from that season. This was one of the longest seasons in the history of Fortnite as well, and it did not disappoint. So many people were excited for a brand new map. We had so many brand new gameplay mechanics added to the game as well, which was so exciting. And Zadie, even though it is considered quite an underrated skin, was definitely the best one added in Season 1. You can pick this up for 1,200 V-Bucks. It has three different edit styles as well, which makes it even better. And they have also remade this with the Agency Renegades bundle, which shows you guys how tryhard this has actually been. The Harley Hitter was also added with the original Harley Quinn skin, but I feel like this is by far the best pickaxe for Zadie because it is so simplistic that it's going to fit in with every single style of this. Let's move on, guys, to one of the best seasons in the history of Fortnite, and this is Chapter 2, Season 2. And for this best combo, we had to go with Siren, and we are 
pairing this with the butterfly knives. Now there could be so many different pickaxes that we pair with this and it was actually really hard to pick the skin for this season as well but in my opinion I just feel like Siren has been the best one. Now Midas was a very close second but I just feel like we don't really see that many people using it today especially tryhard players and a lot of sweats and tryhards do still use Siren in Fortnite today which is honestly kind of crazy. I cannot believe how good this skin actually was. We did also get another style for this added at the start of chapter 5 which just made it even better. They have also remade this a few times with Champion Siren and of course the Spy Catcher Siren skin as well so Fortnite realizes how good this actually is but I just feel like this is such an amazing combo because of how good these actually look. We then moved quickly into chapter 2 season 3 guys and for the best combo we are going with jewels and we are pairing this with the gold crow. I feel like we haven't really talked about too many battle pass items in this video but jewels was one of the best battle pass skins that we have seen in the game and is still quite try hard today. What I feel like is so cool about this is that people are starting to use this skin again. We didn't really get any super styles for this added which does sort of mean it was a letdown comparing to some of the other seasons that we had during chapter 2 but I just feel like the design for this was so good. It was so unique and so different to everything we had already experienced in Fortnite and that just made it even better. Typical gamer also started to use this quite a bit. He is one of the best Fortnite players in the world so I feel like whenever he starts using his skin it is always going to end up becoming quite popular and try hard but I do love this combo and I feel like this is still something you guys need to start using today. That then took us into the first ever Marvel season of Fortnite chapter 2 season 4 and for the best combo we are going with the superhero skins and pairing this with the Joker's Revenge. Now this was a really difficult season to pick from because we also had Tony Stark added, we had Jennifer Walters added which was so try hard at the time but I feel like without a doubt these superhero skins have been the best in the game. They do cost 1800 V-Bucks but they are so so well done and definitely worth buying. You can customize these in so many different ways. We've basically seen people using them since chapter 2 season 4 and they haven't stopped using them since. For the best pickaxe we ended up going with the Joker's Revenge just because I feel like the last laugh bundle is so underrated in the game today. There is so much potential for these pickaxes as well but obviously just because they were part of a bundle we just don't see the popularity for these items that they deserve. It was always going to be tricky to follow up on this Marvel season but during chapter 2 season 5 we ended up getting what was known as the collab season where Fortnite basically collaborated with as many different brands as they could and that introduced our best combo as Marigold and we are pairing this with the Leviathan Axe. Now Marigold is a female variant of the Midas skin. It probably wasn't the most popular skin added during that season because it was part of a bundle but I feel like it has been the most try hard one. This is definitely one of my favorite all time skins. I still use it from time to time as well but whenever this bundle does get added back I feel like it is going to be worth buying. The Leviathan Axe though has to be the best pickaxe from this season and arguably the best pickaxe from any season that we have actually seen. So many people love this a lot. It is still one of my favorite pickaxes as well and I'm so lucky I bought it because it has only featured in the item shop once. That takes us for the guys to chapter 2 season 6 and we are going with Lara Croft and we are pairing this with Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Lara Croft has been one of the most iconic skins in the history of the game and I feel like this is just one of the best skins as well. For a battle pass skin it is so incredible how popular and try hard this has actually been. It has probably been the best battle pass skin from that point of view in the entire history of the game which is so insane and for some reason it feels like this skin is only getting more and more popular even though it hasn't been seen for like three years. Most people do end up using the default style of this but the other edit styles that we have are all really clean so I do encourage you guys to swap these around but Catwoman's Grappling Claw has to be the best pickaxe that was added during this season. You can use this pickaxe with any different edit style of Lara Croft as well making it even better but we then quickly moved into chapter 2 season 7 guys and for the best combo we are going with Midsummer Midas and we are pairing this with the Chop Chop. There were some amazing skins added during this season but I just feel like the pickaxes were probably a little underrated and could have been a lot better and the best one that I could find was the Chop Chop. This is basically an axe. I feel like it looks really cool. It does have a simplistic design I know, so it is going to work in with pretty much every other skin in your locker. So even if you guys don't own Midsummer Midas or you just don't want to use it, then you can use this pickaxe with any other skin in your locker. That is definitely the best part about it. But we need to move on, guys, to the last season of Chapter 2, which was Chapter 2 Season 8, and we're going with 
Core, and we are pairing this with the Hot Dogger. I'm a big fan of Core. This is actually pretty similar to a few other skins because it has started to gain a lot of popularity again in Chapter 5. This is definitely a little surprising. I never really thought we would see this becoming popular once again, but it has started to gain a little bit of traction, which is really, really cool. There are so many different styles for this, so even if you guys don't like the default style, I feel like all of the other edit styles are still worth using today, and the Hot Dogger is going to fit in with every single style as well. And even though this is a collab pickaxe, I feel like it is still one of the better collab pickaxes that we have, and it is really small and simplistic as well, so it doesn't really take up too much of your screen. Obviously though, because this is part of a battle pass, this skin is never going to be added back, so if you guys do want to use a combo that will be added back to the store in the future, we need to move on to the first combo of Chapter 3, and this is Boba Fett, and we are pairing this with LeBeau's Bow. Boba Fett was one of the coolest Star Wars skins that we had added to the game during Chapter 3. I feel like we have so many Star Wars skins now in the game, so it's probably not worth including all of them, but Boba Fett has been really, really good. This definitely isn't tryhard, I just don't think we had any other tryhard skins added during this season, but if you guys can think of something, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below. LeBeau's Bow was also one of the best pickaxes we had seen in the game for a really long time. A lot of people were loving this so, so much, and I feel like as time went on, people just stopped using it, and now we don't really see anyone using this at all. We also have so many other Marvel items in the game that people are starting to use, so we may as well move on to our next combo, guys, and this is for Chapter 3, Season 2, and we are going with Sakura, and we are pairing this with Obi-Wan's Blade. This, again, is another collab combo. I feel like during Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, Fortnite tried to collaborate with as many brands as possible, and that includes included Street Fighter, which bought us skins like Sakura. This has definitely been one of the more tried ones that we have in the game. I feel like it is really underrated as well because the Street Fighter skins don't really return to the store that often. Whenever they do though, they always become quite popular and try hard. We also saw pros like Cypher PK using this a bunch. So this definitely helped increase how popular and try hard this actually was. Obi-Wan's Blade is one of the smallest pickaxes in the game, which is probably why I feel like it has so much potential to be a lot more try hard in the future. We obviously have no idea if this is going to be added back though, or how often it will feature in the store, but next time it does, make sure to pick it up, especially if you do want to own a small pickaxe. We then moved into Chapter 3, Season 3, and our best combo has to be Loveless, and we are pairing this with the Storm Breaker. In my opinion, this is one of the best Fortnite crew skins we have ever seen, but that does mean that this is never going to be added back to the game. There is always a small chance that the Fortnite crew bundles will actually return, but I just don't feel like that'll happen anytime soon. Loveless, though, is a remake of the Wildcard skin. I was so excited when this got announced because I thought this skin looked incredible. They did an amazing job with this, and I feel like it is still one of the best skins in the game today. Obviously, the Fortnite Crew Bundle has been reworked to the point now where there are so many different edit styles for each Fortnite Crew Bundle, but that wasn't really the case back during Chapter 3, which means that this skin would be so much better if it was added today. The Stormbreaker as well definitely isn't the best pickaxe, but we just didn't really have too many other options added so I feel like we had to include it for this combo. That then takes us to the last season of Chapter 3 though, which was Chapter 3 Season 4, and we had to go with the Agency Renegades bundle, and we are pairing this with the Scully Scepter. This is by far one of the best and most tryout bundles we have ever seen in Fortnite. I just feel like a lot of bundles do get quite overlooked in Fortnite because they are so expensive, and you do have to buy some of them with money instead of V-Bucks, which is another reason why not too many people buy them anymore. Still though, I feel like the Agency Renegades bundle was so worth it because they remade two of the most tryhard skins we have ever seen, which was Zadie and Siren. We did also get a remake of Cobalt, but no one has really been using that skin. So for $20, I feel like this bundle was definitely worth buying. Hopefully it does get added back soon because it is going to be one of the best ones for you guys to pick up. But the Scully Scepter as well was added to the game during this season, and it was a remake of the Star One just with a Halloween theme, and I feel like Fortnite did a really good job with this. We then quickly moved into Chapter 4 Season 1, and for the best combo, we have to go with Hannah, and we are pairing this with the Vault Guardian. Hannah is one of the most underrated skins in the game today, and I also feel like it was the most tried skin added during Chapter 4 Season 1. There are eight different styles for this. You basically just change the colors around, which I think is really cool. You can also add a helmet if you want, but I feel like this has been so underrated today that it deserves to be a lot more tryhard. We also have the Vault Guardian as well, which was incredible. I love this a lot. I feel like the Vault Guardian is the best crowbar pickaxe that we have in the game, and the fact that it was only added during Chapter 4 is honestly 
kind of surprising. I feel like chapter four season one was really only around for a few weeks before we quickly moved into chapter four season two and that introduced Mizuki and we are pairing this with Leon's combat knife. Now Leon's combat knife is arguably the best pickaxe we have in the game. It is one of the smallest ones that we have actually seen as well, which is why so many people love it. But I feel like Mizuki had to be the best skin. You could unlock this at tier 100, so it was a grind in order to get this, but it did not disappoint at all. There are so many different styles for this as well, making it even better. But if you guys didn't want to grind this out, then all you had to do was wait for chapter four, season three, because then we ended up getting Satoru and of course, Zerial added to the game. Satoru has been one of the most popular anime collabs that we have ever seen. I just feel like the anime collabs always seem to be quite popular, but are always really underrated as well. They've done an amazing job with this though. I feel like a lot of people are still using this in Fortnite today and the Zero Real pickaxe has to be one of the best gaming legends pickaxes that we have seen as well and even though it is part of the gaming legend series and quite underrated we just had to include it in this video. Chapter 4 ended in chapter 4 season 4 but not before introducing Kaper and the slasher pickaxe to the game. Kaper was one of the most hyped up skins we had ever seen. So many people bought this on the first day that it was introduced because the potential that this skin actually has. There are so many different ways you can customize this. I feel like they did a really good job with this, and a lot of people thought this might even be better than the superhero skins as well, but unfortunately, that just hasn't ended up happening. The Slasher, though, is the perfect pickaxe for this. This was introduced for the Michael Myers skin for Fortnite Mares, and honestly, I still feel like this is a really good pickaxe. Unfortunately, it just doesn't feature in the store that often, which is why it has dropped off in popularity so, so quickly. But we also saw a lot of people stop using this because in a few weeks' time, we moved in to chapter 4 season 5 which was known as season OG. This introduced the Renegade Lynx and War Woman's Mace to the game. Renegade Lynx was a mashup of the Renegade Raider and the Lynx skin from Chapter 1. They did an incredible job with this season. This mini battle pass was incredible as well. But I just feel like so many people were excited to move into Chapter 5 that Renegade Lynx is one of the most forgotten about skins in the history of the game. We did also get the Eternal Knight added during this season, but I just feel like the fact that the Renegade Lynx is a mashup of two of the most iconic skins in the history of the game, we just had to include this skin. My personal favorite edit style has to be the Blaze edit style, but as we moved into Chapter 5 Season 1, guys, a lot of people ended up using Valeria and the Scratcher instead. Chapter 5 has been one of the most fun chapters in the entire history, and the Battle Pass skins have also been quite good as well. I feel like Valeria was the best and most tried one from Chapter 5 Season 1. We did also get Peter Griffin added this season, which I did want to include, but I just don't feel like it has been that tryhard at all. The Scratcher, though, is probably the best pickaxe that we saw during this season. There weren't really too many item shop items added during this season in terms of try hard pickaxes so that is why we have to go with the scratcher this did end up changing though during chapter 5 season 2 because for the best combo we have to go with ascendant midas and we are pairing this with the yoda's cane now ascendant midas is a remake of the original midas skin and it was so so hyped up for chapter 5 season 2 we had many events for this and i just feel like it has been one of the best skins that we have seen and of course one of the best remakes of midas as well Yoda's Kane has been really good. I think this is the best Star Wars pickaxe we are ever going to see as well. So if you guys don't already have this, hopefully it will feature in the store in a few weeks time. The Star Wars items seem to be featuring in the store a lot more often, which is really, really good. But unfortunately, in Chapter 5 Season 3, you will never be able to get the Bright Raider or the Assaultron Blade ever again. The Bright Raider again is a mashup of some of Fortnite's most OG skins. This is a remake of the Bright Bomber and the Renegade Raider mashed up into one and sort of remade for the Wasteland theme of this season. This skin looks so, so good though. I think the super edit styles for this are probably the best, but still the default styles are really good. We did see a lot of pros and streamers using this, but now that we are in a brand new season, this dropped off so, so quickly. The Assaultron Blade was also part of the Battle Pass, and it was added with the Fallout collab during that season, which wasn't really too popular, but I just feel like this pickaxe is so good that we had to include this in this combo. But then we move into the current season of Fortnite, guys, Chapter 5, Season 4. And for the best combo, we have to go with Black Cat, and we are pairing this with the Axe of Champions 2.0. Oh. Black Cat has been by far the best and most tried skin added during this season. 
It is very similar to the Catwoman skin that was added back during chapter one. I just feel like the design for this is so, so tryhard, and there is so much potential for this as well. Obviously, since we are in a Marvel season, it has been really popular at the moment. So we're going to have to wait and see as we move into chapter two OG, and then eventually into chapter six, whether this keeps its popularity or not. But for right now, I feel like this has to be the best skin. The Axe of Champions 2.0 is obviously the best pickaxe. It has been the most tryhard pickaxe in the history of the game because it was only available if you won an FNCS tournament. But now that you can just buy this in the item shop, I just feel like we had to include this pickaxe, especially with the black hat. But there you guys go. That is my video for the sweatiest combo of each season in Fortnite. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below which season was your favorite. And I'll see you guys next time.